is it going everybody? You're watching that about tech and today I'm going to talk about one of the coolest features Apple's released in a long, long time, which is called Universal Control. With Universal Control, you can use multiple iPads and Macs as if they were only one machine one device. This integration is absolutely nuts. So you'll be able to control multiple devices, as you can see here, with only one keyboard and one mouse. It's absolutely incredible. So first, I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of how universal control actually works. Then I'm going to teach you how you can set up on your Mac and your iPad. So I'm going to talk about compatibility and how you can actually set it up, which is super, super easy. And then of course, I'm gonna also give you some tips and tricks that I'm sure you're gonna love. So let me show you how it works. As you can see here, I have my cursor right in front of you on the iMac and I'm controlling it with my magic mouse right here. And let's say I wanna control the iPad. All I have to do when I have universal control is simply move the cursor towards the iPad and then it's already there. Look at this, absolutely incredible. So then I can use, for example, open uh, any app or anything that I want. I can click here on the URL bar, for example, and I can use my keyboard to input text. So then I can go ahead and type in Apple, return, and then there we go, apple.com. As easy as that. And I can do the exact same thing on the MacBook. So I can just uh, slide to the right, and now there we go. That's the cursor, it's right here and I can do the exact same thing, open apps, do everything, keyboard will work as well. It's absolutely incredible, this integration. And of course, it's not only for the cursor to go backwards and forwards, and the keyboard. You can even transfer files between your devices that are using universal control. For example, let me go back here to my iPad and I'm gonna come back to the home screen and then let's say I'm gonna transfer some files. So I'm gonna open my files app and as you can see right here, if I go to iCloud Drive and then go to this folder, I can go ahead and click for example on soundtrack and I can move this soundtrack, which is actually a song, which is an MP3 file, as you can see, I can simply move it as easy as that to my iMac. And then I can drop, and then you can simply drag and drop between devices. Uh, you can do this for any file that you want. So as you can see here, I did it for an MP3 file, but this will work for absolutely any file. So for example, if you wanna click on this folder and transfer images or videos or whatever you want, you can simply slide to the side as I've just done with this MP3 file and you can transfer files without using AirDrop. So it's an instant transfer. This is absolutely incredible. And of course you can do this backwards and forwards between all of the devices. So now that you saw the overview and you understand how universal control works, let me show you how you can set it up on your devices. So first, let's talk about compatibility because that's the most important thing because if you don't have compatible devices, unfortunately, you won't be able to use it. So as you can see here, that's the support page from Apple and talking about universal control. So if you scroll down quite a bit, actually, you see here universal control system requirements. So what you'll need is a Mac running macOS Monterey 12.4 or later. So as you can see right here, and this is a list of all the compatible Macs. And for the iPad, iPad OS 15.4 or later, and the compatible iPad models. I do recommend that you use at least 15.5 or later because then it works much, much better. Uh, on 15.5, it's not on beta anymore, so I do recommend that I go ahead and do this. So check out if your devices are compatible, so that's the first thing. And of course, in order to have it working, uh, you'll need all of your devices, and of course, you don't need to use three of them, you can use two at a time, for example, and you'll need those devices to be signed into the same Apple ID using two-factor authentication, and the devices must be nearby, so around 10 meters or 30 feet away from each other, and that's the same distance as Bluetooth in general, all right? And of course, it'll ne they need to have Bluetooth turned on, 
as well as Wi-Fi and handoff. You don't need to worry about handoff because it's already turned on by default, but you have to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. And last but not least, your iPad must not be sharing its cellular connection and your Mac must not be sharing its internet connection either. So just use regular Wi-Fi, no sharing connections, otherwise it won't work. So if you have all of this and if your, your devices are compatible with the latest versions of Mac OS and iPad OS, you're ready to go. And don't worry, because I have this page in the description down below if you want to check it out, all right? So you're ready to go. And the setup process itself, it's so easy because there's no setup process. All you have to do when you have all of this on and updated is simply go ahead and move your cursor towards the other Mac or the other iPad. So as you can see here, I'm moving it towards the edge of the screen and then I'm pushing it forward a little bit. And as you can see here, we have this animation on the iPad and I'm moving my cursor so you guys can have a look, uh, indicating that universal control is available. And all I have to do is keep moving towards the iPad and there we go. So then I'm in. It's This animation is like you move to the edge and then you push in and then you're in. That's literally it. And now you're connected. And same thing to the other device. So then I have my Mac right here, this MacBook Air, and then I'm gonna move it as well, touching the edge. And as you guys can see right there, same animation right here. And then as I move, I'm gonna do it again. So then I'm gonna move to the edge, and then I have it right here, and then move to the right, and then I'm in, as you guys can see, seamlessly. This is absolutely so, so easy. And in order to manage universal control, all you have to do is click on system preferences. And then you're going to click on this place, as you guys can see right here. And then you're going to go ahead and you can rearrange uh, exactly where you want your devices to be. So as you can see here on the center, I have my iMac on left, Daniel's iPad Pro M1. And on the right, Daniel's MacBook Air. And then of course I can move it. So if I want to make it, for example, as close to reality as possible. I can move it down, for example, just to make it very perfectly lined up. Same thing here with the MacBook Air. But of course, you can place it whatever you want. If you want, for example, to have your iPad right here in front of your Mac, you can obviously place your iPad right here and then it will work just like that. So then you can have your, your setup exactly the way that you want. But of course, for me, that's how I want it, that's perfect for me. Now, I wanna talk about some other very interesting features, uh, some very nice tips and tricks that if you wanna use this feature, you better know because they're so, so cool. What not everyone knows about universal control is that you can pick any mouse, any keyboard, any trackpad from any of the devices to control the others. So as you can see right here, I'm using this setup right here to control the whole thing. But if I want to, I can, for example, move my, my cursor to the right, to the MacBook Air, as you can see right here, and then I can use the trackpad from the MacBook Air and the keyboard as well to control the rest. So then, as you can see right there, I'm moving to the left, it goes to the iMac, I'm moving to the left again, and it goes to the iPad. So then I can use the same thing, I can click using it, I can tap, I can use the keyboard, as you guys can see, it just works perfectly. So this is very, very cool as well because you're not necessarily tied to uh, one keyboard or one mouse. No, you can use any of the keyboards and the mice from any of the devices to control the others. So this is very, very cool. Another feature I really like in Universal Control is the fact that you can use your iPad in portrait mode. So as you can see right here, I'm moving my cursor, I'm moving to the iPad, and then this is very good if you want to scroll through anything, having your iPad in portrait mode can be much more efficient than having it in landscape. And Universal Control is so smart that it actually recognizes your iPad in portrait mode. How cool is that? And last but not least, of course, let me show you how you can disable Universal Control, how you can turn it off if you don't want to have this integration all the time. Sometimes you want to use it, sometimes you don't want to use it, right? So then if you have Universal Control turned on like I do, you can easily turn it off anywhere on your Mac by simply clicking on this icon right here at the top bar. And then as you can see right there, you have controls and you have link keyboard and mouse to and that's of course universal control you can easily click on the devices you don't want anymore and then click on the other one and as you can see right here 
it just disables completely and then you're not using it anymore and that's it so that's it and i'll see you on my next video as usual bye bye guys